Hi guys, my name is Bumbleplay, welcome to another episode of Dallas BGM series. We are at the beginning of the postseason. We ended uh, regular season in the last episode and it was a good year. We qualified for a playoffs, we were second I believe in the Western Conference or something like that. And uh, now we are going to face a Colorado Avalanche, yeah now I remember for sure they were third in our division and we were second and we were second overall in the Western Conference. So let's not waste any time and let's look at the lines. Oh, no, no, no. The first thing that we really need to do, we never done it in this series because we never made it to the postseason. We need to turn injuries on and goalie rotations off. Good thing I remember that because I was, you know, ready to start. So now we, I will not waste any time and uh, I will show you the lines and then we can start simulating right away. Nothing else we can do in this video. You know what, actually uh, I guess we do have one more thing. I'm sorry, I always say things and then turns out that it's not true. We need to look at the injury occurrence, yes, 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 we need to put it uh, you know, like here because if you leave it like it is, it's, you know, hell a lot of injuries. Just injury after injury and, you know, all you have to do is change the lines. When the player recovers, you have to change them again and it's too crazy. This is exactly what, what it needs to be. If you want to change it for your GM mode, it's in uh, gameplay settings. And for some reason, it should be only affecting the, you know, actual gameplay when you when you get into the, you know, all the visual stuff, but for some reason it really affects the simulation as well. It's crazy. So, let's look at the lines and then we can start. Stats. Yeah, view lines. First of all, we will look at our lines. And uh, I like those lines, I'm not gonna lie. Jamie Benn, uh, Jonathan Taves and Tyler Seguin, our first line sniper and two playmakers but it's it's not like that at all because uh, none of them is purely you know a sniper so Tyler Seguin is a pure playmaker he has you know a shitload of assists he was tied for the first place in assists in the league this year and Jamie Benn is more he's not really a sniper he's more of a also a setup guy and this is kind of a problem of this line our second line, they had, you know, just incredible season. They were just, you know, total beasts. Hagelin, Johansson, Nylander, especially Nylander in his first year. He, I don't think uh, he's qualified for Calder Trophy, but if he did qualify for it, he would just, you know, take it, uh, you know, without any question. Third line, well, we hope to see some depth scoring from uh, from them. We have Tarasenko, Glenny and Chason. Chason all has great sets, uh, stats all the year in this uh, franchise. And fourth line are just three two-way forwards, just defensive guys. They they are solid and they proved it, you know, especially in the later half of the year. They were solid. And defensively we have Murray and Galigoski, Allison Dillon and Alexiev and Petrovic. And in the net we have Kari Lehtinen. He is our goalie his franchise goalie and uh, I believe that he can bring us you know all the all the success that we that we want and we want a lot of it so now let's quickly look at Colorado Lions yeah they have oh they traded for Eric Stahl I believe they have McKinnon on the second line but first yeah Landis Cox Stahl and O'Reilly it's balanced first line I like our first line a little bit better but it's uh, you know it's good defensively. All three of those plays have great defensive category. I tell it, it's, it's for sure. Second line, McGinn is he's good defensively. McKinnon and Duchesne. I like this line. There is no sniper there. No sniper at their top six actually. And uh, the only sniper they have is <laughs> 76 overall Jensen on the fourth line. So no sniper, but I say they they really you know bring it defensively and they can you know create opportunities. McKinnon, Shane, Chastney, Stahl, a lot of great playmakers there. So it, it will be tough. Their fourth fourth line 
well as well as the third line is a little bit off but still they have solid offense i like our offense a little bit better but they are solid no question about it and defensively well i don't know what to say stalin johnson two defensive defensemen this is yeah they they have advantage on the top two defensemen and the uh, second pairing we have slight advantage in third line we have also so it's i say it's equal and in the net who they have they have Marlamov. well i say it's equal so all around you know somebody's better there another is better here and uh, all around it's it's an equal game and our seedings are also pretty equal and the record is uh, well they have slightly what no basically it's the same record look at that so it's i cannot expect anything else but you know tough long series so let's just he was injured already really he had in this in this games yeah just replace him whatever injuries coming fast <laughs> thank god it's not our NHL team somebody could get injured on the you know on practice or something so it's a good news actually why is that taking so long I'm not jump no no I, I was afraid that I started the you know simulation of this game like automatic simulation so come on guys Dallas Stars your fans they await you know they haven't seen playoff success in a long long years from the I believe it was 98 when they won Stanley Cup so it's you know 16 years ago you know kids have grown you know to their driving age from born and grown <laughs> without those you know solid success so let's just bring it to the to the whole state of Texas come on guys first period 0-0 zero, zero game okay okay second period and they score Tyson Berry okay okay we still have a shot at this let's just let's score quick yeah we we started yeah we have a lot of shots come on guys you you should you should bring one goal no they score again and no, it's not looking good and we are losing the first game two to nothing well I guess we had some sort of jitters first game of the postseason in so many years it's it can be a lot of pressure but now we need to get it together because we cannot allow ourselves you know any more losses we need solid performance guys you have Olamov with a shout out left in it Tyson Berry, okay, okay. Hope there will be no injuries. Oh, it's looking good. No injuries so far. Oh, oh, it's uh, another AHL guy. Yeah, replace him. Whatever. Come on, guys. We need to bring our A game today. We cannot fall down, you know, two to nothing. Come on. I don't want to speak a lot. Please, please, just bring it. First period. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Petrovic and Taves. Beautiful, beautiful. This is a great first period. This is what I was talking about. Come on, guys. Second period. Another goal. Jamie Bam. Finally, finally, you are you now showing that you are our assistant captain, that you are, you know, great for our first, our great first liner. Come on. Third period. Lechtenin has a lot, he has a big cushion. And another goal by Tyler Seguin. Great performance by our first line. Everybody scored, and Joe Hansen's second line is also producing. Come on, guys. Yes, it's we have this game in the pocket. Whatever. They can score again, it does not matter. Yes, yes, 5 to nothing. This is what I was talking about. This is the great win. This is a win that brings you know, confidence in, you know, in everybody, in your coach, in yourselves, in, in your fans. Yeah, we just need to bring this momentum forward. God damn it, it's taking so long. Yeah, three stars, Jamie Ben goal into assists. Yeah, first line they produced a lot. So perfect. Great performance by everybody. And we are going to Colorado. I don't believe that this is too long of a trip. Well it's not like it's too close, but it's not like going to another side of a country as well it's good come on 
we are in the in the mountains right now but i hope that we can adjust to this difference come on first period yes the his is great you see you see oh so our fourth line jamie ben first line and tarasenko third line everybody's producing great great performance second period what the fuck uh, can you believe that we allow three goals in the second period without scoring any oh man well well game is not over please just you know come back to this game we can score and no Oh, if we will not score right now, well, we oh, forget it. We are losing this game. It was starting so well, and oh, god damn it! It's just oh, it's a devastating loss. I was not expecting that after a you know, great first period. Oh, Ryan O'Reilly with a hat trick, Ekblad with three assists. Oh, God damn it! Well, two to one. We still have a lot of games ahead of us, and we are with our yeah, well, whatever. I can't, you know, take care about this right now. Yes, fourth game, game four, game four. We're still in Denver. I suppose they play in Denver? Yes. And uh, let's start it strong like we did in the previous game. Come on, first period. Yes, yes, this is great. Galagoski, Seguin, beautiful, beautiful. Two to nothing. But let's, you know, let's play, let's play solid in the second. We cannot allow the, this many goals. Come on, guys, play solid. Yes, yes, you brought what I'm saying. And Tyler, 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 Tyler Johnson? Our fourth liner scores, and we have some cushion going to the third. Well, everything can happen, but yeah, Hagelin, second line producing as well. Yes, I believe we have this game in our pocket. Great job. Great job, everybody. All the lines chipped in. Everybody produced. Beautiful, beautiful. And the shout-out for, for Kari Lechtenin. I guess it's his first career... Well, it, it's his first playoff series, I know that for sure. And uh, it's his first career playoff shutout. Great job. Great job. Well done. Brill, you know, brilliant, you know, like that. Keep it up. Yeah, Golgowski takes with two assists. Yeah, our good players, they, uh, they prove themselves in, in this series. I guess it's, you know, their poise or anything, you know, like that. It's... They playing like they should, but I don't want to jinx them. Come on, we are back at in Texas. Two, two, game five. Come on, guys. First period. One and one. Okay, okay. I'll take it. Chess on third line. Depth, depth goal scoring. Beautiful. Come on, second period. We are overshooting them. Sixteen to seven, and we have power play. Come on, guys. We need a goal. No. Okay, okay. Third period let's we we need to win this come on guys anybody second line nylander i'm calling you out come on show me what you can do you were such yes it's tarasenko's third line but still oh great win great win in overtime nylander i'm still you know expecting a lot of you but tarasenko with the two goals i guess it was a good move to you know to leave him Leave him be on the third line. He is uh, showing that he's a good player in this playoff run. Beautiful. Yes, he goal and assists. Great, great job. Third line made the game today and left in another great performance. Well, now we're leading three to two, and uh, every game can be the last. And uh, I hope you know what that means. It means that we are doing minute by minute simulation without skipping any periods. Come on, guys. I'm just setting it up. Yes, and uh, let's go. Let's see what we can do in Colorado. Yes, strong start. Ryan Murray, beautiful. Another goal. Carl Hagelin, second line. Great job. Great job. Keep it up. 
No second period meltdown, please. Well, it's one goal game. Everything can happen. We need another goal. It's not even a dagger. We just need to go because I don't think that we can go, you know, with one goals against in this game. Please, somebody scores. Yeah, I told you that. Come on, guys. We need a goal. <laughs> oh, man. We still have time. Power play? No, no, no. Please. Please, penalty kill. Yes, yes. So we have fourth line. Beautiful. And now, overtime? Somebody, somebody step it up. Please. 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 Do it. Another power play. No, and they score, god damn it. Oh. I was thinking that it's going to the second overtime, but they managed to finish it in the end of the first overtime. O'Reilly, he has a great series. I can't say anything about that. Nylander, our sniper, our top player. Oh, no goals for me. He has an assist, but it's just an assist. Great comeback. Those Colorado Avalanche, they have those comebacks. Oh. Johans, of course. He's he, 15th of May. Oh, man. It's, it's not good. Who we can bring up? Sherbuck? I don't know. We need somebody... Mackenzie, yeah, Mackenzie is looking like a solid player. Yeah, we can bring you up. And now, yeah, let's see who we can put. Uh, can somebody play face off snow? Nylander, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should put Nylander uh, in the in this position. He has a great passing, great shot. Offensive word is 98. What? What a beast. He's not a fast player, but well, it's not what I'm what I need to do. Glenny? No, I don't no, I don't want to bring up Glenny. I think that I should bring up Tarasenko, but I don't know where to put him. Maybe he can take playoffs and uh, faceoffs. No, but he's better defensively. Or Carl Hagelin should it be? Well, Nylander is a center. No, he's a right winger. Everybody's a winger here. Well, I guess we need to to change it up. I don't want to do it. I really don't. But I think that we have no other choice. We need uh, some solid, uh, you know, center. We cannot have the line full of wingers there. Seguin can do it. He can be uh, center for the second line. And uh, to the third line, who we should bring? Yeah, I think we should bring Tyrell. And uh, Johnson can play here. And this other guy, who, who is he? Mitchell? No, no, no. Mackenzie, yeah, yeah, Mackenzie. He's left winger? Yes, yes, you can play here. Okay, okay. Defensively, we are good. Uh, same thing. We need to bring Nylander to the first line. We need to make him wake up. And Tarasenko here. Yeah, what a great move to keep him. It was a random move. I was not planning on that, but great move. Who is our next best uh, defensive player? I guess it's Tyrell, actually. Seguin, Ben, or Chiasson. Who's better? Chiasson? No, he's not that great defensively. Yeah, I think Tyrell. Yeah, Tyrell can play it. Dave Seguin. And four and four lines. Uh, we have here Taves, Ben, Seguin, Nylander, and uh, yeah, Hagelin and uh, Tarasenko. Yes, yes, it should be like that. Extra attacker, no, and shootout. Yeah, we can put Tarasenko, but it does not matter. Oh, some land changes before the game seven. Well, it's not what you want to do, but we had no choice. So let's just bring our A game. Let's just you know adjust on the fly and let's just show us show everybody that we can do it. That we are in you know, a playoff team built. Yes, Jamie Ben scores on the first 
no, no, three minutes in. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on, guys. Come on, we need we need more goals. We cannot. It will not be one to nothing game. I don't believe that it can be. Yeah, you're so so many shots, but no goals. Thirty shots. We're you know tripling them on the shots. Yes, Thomas Senk on the second line. Beautiful, beautiful. His third goal. Oh, Lechtenin, please, please just keep it up. Please. Will it be? Oh, no, man. O'Reilly with another goal. Please. Yes, and we do it. In game seven, two to one win. That's just crazy. Oh, we are, you know, 40 to 21. We doubled their shots. Crazy game. Crazy game, but we did it. And our line changes they proved to be effective they proved to be good enough for the win great job guys great job we yeah we are team that can can win in playoffs Jan Nylander had an assist Tarasenko with a game winning goal Varlamov with 40 shots yes everybody was was great even Varlamov Oh, let's just see who we get in the second round. And we have Minnesota Wild. We will uh, look at their lines and stuff. They have worse record, record than we do, but it doesn't matter now. And yes, our AHL team also won 8-2. to two. Beautiful. And uh, yes. Oh. And such such pressure. So great series, great series. Let's look at the stats, then we look at the playoff tree, and then we will end this episode. Everybody produced. I can tell it to you right now. Everybody was, you know, just doing what 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 needed to be done. Jamie Ben, what a performance! Leading scorer, leading point guy. Some penalty minutes. Tarasenko with two game-winning goals. Taves with 5 points, Tarasenko, beautiful performance, beautiful. Nylander 5, well, he had a lot of assists. Johnson with a game-winning goal. No, 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 it wasn't game-winning goal. Yes, you see, everybody, you know, has has points. Everybody. Who has, you know, Hagelin has only 2 points, but it was 2 goals. And that's huge. Oh, and defensively... Yeah, Goligoski, Murray, yeah, everybody, everybody just, you know, just, everybody was playing great. And goalies, yeah, Lachanen, two, yeah, great performance, solid performance, almost 93 point, uh, 93 is safe uh, percentage, goes against average, solid as well. Great, great job, great job, guys. Oh, playoff three. Oh, what happened? Edmonton had beaten St. Louis and Nashville lost to Minnesota. Nashville, those the team that had beaten us for the lead in the West. They lost in six games. Oh, and uh, here Islanders were... Islanders, oh, look at that. They had such a dominant season and they just... They lost in four games. I was not expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> so, we will end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.